Aliana, how old are you? I'm 19. Aliana, how long have you been homeless? Three months. Yeah, three to four months almost. And how'd you become homeless? Um, I got kicked out of my deal's house because of using drugs. Using blues? Um, no, it was uh, G. G? Yeah. Are you using blues now or no? Yeah. Well, I've been slowing down. Um, my I reached out to my old group home staff to get help and to look into rehab and stuff. So she's going to help me and my boyfriend because I'm usually out here with him. Your boyfriend is out here too with you? Mm -hmm. At least you're not alone, right? Yeah. And you said group home. Uh, have you had like issues when, since you were younger? Um, I grew up in the system. Yeah, I got adopted when I was three, but then my adopted mom gave uh, my rights up and when I was 14, I think, and then I just aged out pretty much. Do you think that you, by you being in the system and you basically getting close to you know, as you got closer to adulthood, 18, were you prepared to be on your own or not really? No. Um, no, because it just made me more scared, honestly. But yes, in a way, because I had to grow up um, faster and it made me mature, more mature than people my age are, I guess, you know, like I know more, I feel like. You're like more street smart? Yeah. And like how people are and just how the world is pretty much. You're a good judge of character because you know there's people with bad intentions and whatnot, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. What's uh, life like being out here on the streets? Um, it's hard. Um, whether you're alone or not, it's just harder when you're alone. But it's tiring and it's just tiring. You're so tired that you uh, reached out to your group home case manager recently? Yeah, it's making me sad. Like, it's making me think thoughts that I don't want to think or shouldn't think, you know? Because it, it, cause especially because of how young me and my boyfriend are, it makes me feel like nobody actually cares um, that we're out here like this. Especially because when you're out here, everyone, like, your stuff is always being stolen. And when it's cold, like all your blankets, all your jackets and stuff gets stolen. You know what I mean? Like you just lose everything. You, you can't keep nothing pretty much. And so is it when, when you get slumped out or you just go to sleep, you wake up and your, you know, your shopping cart and your belongings, your backpack, everything's gone basically? Or what happens? That or like you just can't trust nobody pretty much. Like you can ask someone to watch your stuff for you, like a close homie or whatever, and they'll be quick to turn around and trade your stuff or um, sell your stuff for drugs or whatever, you know? So that just goes to show you that there's really no trust, no love out here, right? Everybody's out for their own self, right? Pretty much, yeah. And basically that's another reason why you should get off the streets as soon as possible. You know, hopefully your case manager comes and grabs you off the streets soon and takes you back. And I mean, there's tons of treatment centers, you know, I'm gonna give you my number after we're done talking. And so you can call me if you're, you and your boyfriend ever need a ride to a treatment center because there's hundreds of treatment centers. They'll help you, yeah. you know, and uh, it just has to be a willingness on your part to want to help yourself. You know, there are, there are a lot of people that don't care, but there are people that do care about you, right? They, mm -hmm. they, they, you do matter. You're not alone out here in the world. Even though you've been in the system for what most of your life yeah. and you've seen a lot of not so good things there are a lot of positive things about the world you know and people do care you know uh you do matter and uh you're so young that you can rewrite your life and, and make something of yourself what do you what do you hope to become uh you know some people uh were telling me uh yeah i wanted to become a nurse uh veterinarian uh police officer did you have any hopes and dreams when you were younger um, mine was just like to be an artist or tattoo artist or something like that. But honestly, now I just don't really know. I just I lost. I got I lost I lost who I am and like I just don't see anything in the future for me. I guess in a way. You've lost hope a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Why is that? What What do you think? Was there one thing that made that happen, or just little by little you've been losing hope? Just little by little, I, th I think I've just been building it all up and stuff. Um, growing up to this point, you know, it's just one thing after another that's happening in life. And it's just making me, I, I, I'm feeling the need to give up because no one listens or is there the way I am there for them. You know? You're not receiving what you give back, mm -hmm. what you give to, to the world. Yeah. Um, don't 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 put so much pressure on yourself you know uh, don't don't think like you you're supposed to have all the answers to all the problems right now uh you know you're we all make mistakes all of us we're all human you know and it'd be really sad if you really did give up hope right now you know because you're 19 that's really really young so um Continue to dream of, of you being a tattoo artist or whatever it is you want to do, accomplish. Uh, you know, you want to have an apartment, a car, you know, eventually get married, have children. Those are all things you can do. You just have to, you know, work towards it. What's uh, some some advice you would give to young people that are out there in the, are out there in the street right now or they're messing around with pills, right? Somebody says, here, try this. What would you advise them or tell them? Uh, I don't know, but I, don't know. I regret doing them, honestly, because it all seems fine at first, you know, like you may be curious to be like, get the high or whatever, but like your tolerance builds up and then you start to not feel anything when you're doing them, but you're still gonna need them because you feel pain um, throughout your body because of the withdrawals. Everybody's time frame is different. It could be two or three hours for some people. It just depends on how much you smoke of them, you know? But it's like, it it just makes your body hurt like so much where you cry and stuff. Um, I know some people like die, die from it like that if they like stop completely. So they have to go to rehab for them depending on just how bad they are using them. You said uh, you, you're, you're doing less now. What was the most you were doing at one time previously? Um, up to 10 a day. And now you're do down to what? Maybe like four. Okay, so little by little, right? Less and less. And hopefully one day it's zero and then yeah. you can get treatment yeah. and just start working on yourself, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, my last uh, question is... Uh, how do you stay safe out here and how do you stay warm? I see that's your shopping cart back there and you have a I couple, a couple bl one blanket and a sweater. Um, well, honestly, I, I like if I'm by myself, like when I'm with my boyfriend, like that's like pretty much the only time I feel like I can be safe. But when I'm by myself, I can't like sleep or nothing because there's like especially if there's guys around or whatever even your homie like your guy friends or whatever like you there there have been times where like i woke up to them like doing stuff to me or you know like making me do stuff to them like in a way like hard to explain or your stuff being stolen so it's like i don't like to be out here by myself you know what i mean but um So yeah, that's uh, again, that's more the reason for you to get off the streets, okay? So I'm gonna say thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you very much for sharing your story and letting us know a little bit about you. And um, you're not alone. People do care about you. And uh, just stay safe out here, okay? I'm gonna hand you a donated uh, goodie bag. Maybe there's something in here that you can use for yourself. Okay, so. This is from one of my subscribers, Kathleen. Is there is there any anything you can use in there? Blanket. Little blanket. Yeah. Good. That's what you're asking for—a blanket, right? Yeah. Yep. And um, I'm gonna hand you my card. Lights, definitely. So what? A lot of I learned a lot of places don't let us use the bathroom unless you're a customer and have to buy something, which is pretty messed up, I think, because okay. there's not a lot of public bathrooms out there. That's true. Yeah, it's unfortunate, right? Um, here's my card, my name, and my number if you need a ride to treatment, okay? 
Uh, also, Kathleen, uh, one of my subscribers, she donated money for me to go grab you some food, okay? All right. Please stay safe, take care, and we'll talk soon, okay? All right, thank you.